Hi everybody, welcome to Daily Deco. It is Wednesday uh, and it's also Origami Day. Um, so I made a little origami shark ah, to, uh, to celebrate. Um, Sean has made... I fold it, I fold it <laughs> up a mat. I fold it up a mat. It's really good, it's, isn't it? It's folded paper. Yeah, exactly. It's, origami made. It's not particularly scuba diving related or anything. Yeah, look, there's, uh, a, there's a river. <laughs> I've got there's a river, some, you can't really see it. There's, there's a river. There's blue on it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> it's fine, it's fine. I, I, I did look at, because um, someone has made like origami scuba divers with like both single and like twin cylinders. Uh, I, I, I looked at that and then I looked at origami shark and I was like, that looks far easier, but this still took me like 20 minutes to make. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Well, I was originally going to do an origami flatfish. Yeah, yeah, seems seems fairly straightforward. <clears throat> Even though I couldn't be bothered to do that. I was like, no, this is effort. <laughs> this is effort. Uh, so today's episode of Daily Deco is sponsored by our very own Teespring store. I'm actually wearing a Teespring t-shirt today, the Dive 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 t-shirt. And I've got um, my uh, Flappy Snag Hazard t-shirt on representing, and it shouldn't lovely. be backwards now. I'll sort out my camera lens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in store news, um, we, we had an update from the buyers, uh, so actually the, the next few coming weeks are actually going to be quite exciting because we've got quite a lot of stuff arriving. Uh, we're getting another batch of sort of X-Deep and uh, an Ammonite uh, sort of dive equipment. So they're coming back into stock, uh, along with a drop of Shearwater dive computers, uh, both Terex and Peregrines, and I imagine some Perdixes and, uh, and Petrels. Um, so that's very exciting. Awesome. We also, in a, uh, a couple of weeks, uh, will have a, uh, a Hewish delivery, which is Atomic Aquatics, Oceanic Hollis, um, sort of all those uh, sort of good brands uh, and Apex Aqualung should be coming fairly soon as well um, including a few new exciting bits and bobs that we can't mention here um, but yeah they've got some new uh, sort of exciting things um, as ever of course they have uh, so yeah keep checking up on the uh, the website as they uh, sort of add any uh, like new features the one that I really want to see come back is the notify me um, I'd love it if they can put that back on um, that was a wonderful feature on the uh, the old website, uh, which basically, if it was out of stock, you typed in your email address, and as soon as someone booked it into stock, uh, it would send you an email saying, oh, this is back in stock. Um, one day we'll, we'll get that back, hopefully. Do you remember the notify me when we first got the Terek? <laughs> it didn't have like, like 200 <laughs> emails or something attached. Yeah, yeah. That it was that, manic. That, that that was the downside to it in that <laughs> we'd, we'd receive like the, the limited edition and they were only getting like 10 in, but it would send like 200 people an email. Um, and it was, yeah, first come, first serve. So uh, yeah, that, that was the, the downside to, um, to notify, <laughs> notify me. me. It was like, oh, sorry, you, you're going to have to do it again until we get started. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> It's it's better that than us disappoint people and they they place their order and it just doesn't arrive and it doesn't yeah. arrive and it doesn't arrive. So um, yeah, that I, is annoying. I prefer it this way. Um, so let's jump straight into the news. So a new world record has been broken, uh, and this is from uh, where's she from? Slovenia. Yes. Uh, this is Alina Artnik. She has set a new world freediving record uh, for sort of monofin. So last year, 2019, they had a big um, uh, sort of freediving meet competition, um, the world championships, and um, and she actually ties with a Italian um, freediver at 113 <laughs> meters down. Um, wow. I know, <laughs> um, but this year <clears throat> did it again in uh, in Sharm El Sheikh, uh, and she broke it by a meter. So she's gone down to 114 meters, uh, setting the new world record. So well done to her. Um, I oh, yeah, uh, even like for me down at like 10 meters, looking up, you go. Oh, it's a long way back up to the surface. I'm, I'm, I'm like not that a... 30 centimetres. <laughs> in the in bathtub. Bath. <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> and I keep crying, which adds more water, so it gets deeper. <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's amazing. 
But yeah, so that's um, that's a nice news story. Uh, the news has been fairly bleak recently, um, mm. so um, so yeah, we thought we'd uh, we'd throw that one in. Uh, so well done to Alenka. Uh, the next one continues on from a, sh- a new story from last week where we spoke about uh, they've, uh, I think it was, oh, was it Manchester University? Uh, some British university had, um, they were working on uh, like drone autonomy. So underwater ROVs, they um, they can like sort of map areas themselves and uh, sort of navigate themselves. So they're a bit more autonomous, so they don't need uh, like a guy with a PlayStation controller. Um, uh, it's Xbox. Or an Xbox. Controller. Yeah, uh, no, it's other, Xbox. Yeah, other brands um, controllers are available on the, the market. Switch. No, the uh, Wii. <laughs> the Wii is doing Wii. this. <laughs> um, so this, um, this, new, this new news story um, comes out of uh, Norway, and um, they're actually working on ROVs effectively talking together as a community um, to be able to uh, sort of scan. And last week, someone posted a great um, sort of comment on the uh, sort of autonomous robots, and it was basically, do you want Skynet? Because that's how you get Skynet. Um, so yeah, now the drones, they're becoming autonomous, uh, and in Norway, they're teaching them to talk to one another as well and work together so um yeah we, we're gonna get skynet unfortunately don't don't copyright us sean um so <laughs> oh, yeah. sorry so um so yeah so what they're um what they're basically working on in uh, in norway is they've just received a, a grant of 25 million uh norwegian corona um and uh, not corona but the their money is called krona um so yeah <laughs> How does um, Corona? But, yeah, <laughs> twenty-five million of them. Um, but yeah, it's basically to uh, to get these underwater drones to kind of work together to kind of map the bottom because we still don't know a lot about the bottom of the ocean, uh, and it's so much easier just to send a robot down. Um, and now that we can kind of send a team of robots down to kind of talk to one another and kind of map the entire area, um, yeah, they're they're hoping for um, a lot of positive things. Um, but yeah, they, they do need to put in do not kill humans uh, nah. into that programming. They need to do the T series, man. They need to have all these underwater. They've got to be like the T one hundred, the T eight hundred. It's got to all be a T series. If if you're a developer, yeah, that's what you'd call it. The, yeah, the T, and I would call T- my company Skynet. <laughs> what would be the opposite? No, it'd be like GhostNet. Go. Oh no, there is a link. There is there. Yeah, <laughs> GhostNet. <laughs> No, the, the new one's called Legion, isn't it? With Terminator, uh, not Salvation, the other one, the new one. Oh, dark, I... dark, dark Fate. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's called Legion. <laughs> Good for uh, you. I, yeah, okay. I, I don't mind that one. Um, I kind of ignore three, Salvation, and if there was another one, I can't remember. Yeah, but, isn't that uh, the one with um, the Game of Thrones girl? Oh yeah, uh, Amelia Clark. I don't know what I, it's called. Uh, I don't mind Salvation. That's all right. I don't mind parts of Salvation. I like the grim bit. I hate. What? Well, all right. Okay. So even though we're going completely off topic, they need to make yeah. a Terminator movie that's set in the future. That's just about the war. That isn't them going back. Yeah. Stop going back. Take the time travel element out of it and just make it man versus machine. Genesis. Battle. Yeah, uh, uh. Genesis. That was it. Where they spoiled it in the trailer of the movie. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> movie was bad. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Today's today's episode of Daily Deco is uh, is brought to you by our very own Teesprings store. Uh, so once you're out of the water, it could be hard to spot a fellow scuba diver, uh, but no longer because you can buy scuba diving merchandise. Now there are plenty of places where you can buy scuba diving merch. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. No, there's not. There's not. There's only one place. Our They're Teespring bl- store. Our very own Teespring store is uh, is one that I quite enjoy. Um, so um, yeah, we do everything from t-shirts and hoodies to uh, to new uh, sort of face masks, uh, phone cases, stickers, you name it. You can uh, sort of slap our uh, sort of scuba dude on your uh, on your scuba tank. Um, so yeah, we've got a little bit of everything. And now we're offering a fifteen percent off everything. Um, so all you need to do is add the promo code Daily Deco, uh, sort of all one word at uh, at 
checkout when it asks you for like a voucher code or anything um, that will get you 15% off your order um, so yeah that way you can stand out of the diving crowd with our scuba dude um, yeah on our Teesprings store there's going to be a link down in the description below it would have also popped up during the video oh will it oh that's clever yeah Teesprings because it's an associated <coughs> account because we've linked it it all shows up so it would have popped up and also as well it will be at the end of the video so we normally have a little box that yep. um, connects to simplyscuba.com but if it's sponsored by Teespring that box becomes a Teespring box <coughs> that's clever and yes. if you're listening to this on uh, Spotify that won't happen click on the box that's on your screen right now do, do, it. do, it. do it do it do it do it do it <laughs> that's also probably another copyright strike <laughs> I don't think they can copyright. Do it. Let's <laughs> just do it. So the emperors do it. Do um, it. Okay. So yeah, moving swiftly on. The um, <laughs> the next news story comes from the uh, Ohio, I presume, uh, police department. Uh, Franklin County Sheriff's deputy. So he was training doing some uh, sort of in water scuba work. Uh, it looks like he's doing a full fast. Full face Ooh. mask uh, removal and uh, and replacement when uh, basically one of his hoses slips um, and uh, it, it very quickly teaches you why we call them whips um, because as soon as a hose uh, sort of has nothing on the end of it it just whips around even in the water so yeah we call them whips a lot of the time um, so this guy he's removed his full face mask uh, and he's put his uh, scuba pro uh, G 260 uh sort of in his mouth what um what interests me is about this is that they reverse a lot of the stuff so his gauge is on the uh, sort of right hand side and uh, and his alternate comes in from the left which is why he's got a g260 um but the main problem that he has is that everyone has a, um, a swivel ball joint on their full face mask. So whilst he's um, just fiddling around and trying to lengthen off all of the uh, all of the straps to be able to put the full face mask back on, uh, obviously that swivel ball joint is just unscrewing, and uh, and eventually it just fails, and the uh, the whip just goes, um, and uh, and off it goes. Obviously, he can still breathe, um, but he's got like three or four instructors around him, all um, sort of going to uh, sort of help him. And um, they, he's got an independent tank and all that kind of stuff, so he's he's perfectly fine. But uh, yeah, it's just all a, a bit of excitement. Um, but yeah, this again just kind of goes to show if you do have a swivel joint, you do need to tighten up that uh, little sort of grub screw um, just to keep those two halves together. Otherwise, yeah, this happens. I mean, it's happened to. Um, or I've witnessed it happen uh, sort of out in the Red Sea. And um, it wasn't quite that exciting. Um, yeah. It's, um, well, all it was is he just had a, a steady stream of bubbles um, coming out of this swivel joint. And then all of a sudden it just kind of went into like fizz overdrive. But uh, I don't think it disconnected completely. I think it, the uh, the O-ring just extruded and um, and yeah, just this stream of air. Um, so yeah, handed in my octo and we, I got him up to the surface, but um, yeah. You and then do you punched need... him. <laughs> <laughs> you fool, you, you should have tightened this. Um, but, um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's just one of those things. Yes, they are very useful omni swivels because uh, you get a um, just a sort of perfect hose routing. However, you, you do need to uh, sort of maintain them and make sure that they are nice and uh, nice and tight. Um, otherwise, yeah, they can literally separate um, at a moment. And the uh, the final news story uh, comes from Scotland, and um, this is where a um, a scallop diver. Um, has found evidence of illegal dredging in a uh, in a certain area. So basically, in this area, there are these uh, sort of very unique uh, sort of scallops and uh, all sorts of uh, sort of marine life. And um, and it's a marine protected area. You're not allowed to uh, sort of dredge or do anything, uh, but you are allowed to um, scuba dive for them, which is a very eco friendly way. Um, they they you send a diver down with a basket in effect and uh, and yeah they um, sort of select them uh, but of course only the ones of correct size uh, and then they bring them back to the surface 
this guy, he was um, sort of doing his usual day job. Uh, he was down at about 30 meters, I think he said. And mm. um, and yeah, he found this huge like trough as if something's been dragged along the bottom. Um, and they're like, well, this is clearly evidence that someone's been like dredging the bottom and just uh, sort of scooping as much up as possible. And they're like, well, they must have like coming during the night um, yeah. because you're not allowed to do this. So they're trying to do it sort of really sneakily. And um, and yeah, he, he said it's it's quite tough to pinpoint exactly when it was done. Uh, I presume there's not a great deal of current or anything. So it could have been sort of anywhere up to a month or so ago. But um, but yeah, he's like this. This is dangerous because if you just sweep the entire area, then they just they disappear they eventually die out yeah because uh, there aren't enough of them so um no um mark weren't you in scotland about a month ago <laughs> yeah no i was still in lockdown or something no. <laughs> you and your dodgy mates <laughs> <laughs> yeah my uh, all my shifty mates are in prison <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're not that good <laughs> You're only good if they don't know <laughs> and you don't yeah. get caught. That was my, my <laughs> nan used to say something like that. If you can't be good, just don't get caught. <laughs> so, all right, nan. That's words oh. to live by. She was a very strong Christian woman as well. I was very shocked when she said that to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, the Christians have never done anything wrong. How dare you? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Um, yeah, no, uh, it's such a shame that this is happening. Like, especially yeah. if they are endangered or they're a rarity, just to yeah, scoop them up and take them. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. I mean, just he, for um, so no, they no, they no. they interviewed this diver and he said, "I go scallop diving, which is probably the most environmentally friendly way of fishing. I understand that people are doing this just to make trying to make a living, um, but it's a very destructive way of yeah. fishing. And uh, and yeah, it uh, it very much is. And he, he goes on to say, you can read scientific information here, experiences from other divers, and in my own experience, where I've been diving around Sky for ten years, and what uh, uh, what can I say is that it's very sad in uh, in some areas. We're fighting for." example fires in amazon um but for me we have a fire in our sea that's been burning yeah. for 30 years so um so yeah he, he he's effectively saying that yeah everyone's kind of aware that um that the amazon rainforest is burning in areas and everyone's kind of focused on that but actually this is just as serious um it's just because it's under the water and people can't quite see it mm. um they don't really think of it but it's actually it's, it's an awful awful thing um especially in a marine protected area um so yeah we do need to do something about it mm. <clears throat> sad times man mm. It yeah, it, the, the article says um, under current European regulations, the vessel monitoring system is a, uh, they're basically sort of got this system as a satellite based fishing vessel monitoring system that provides data mm. to uh, sort of fishing authorities at regular <laughs> intervals. Um, so, um, so yeah, hopefully this will um, sort of ping uh, sort of whoever's doing it. And if they can get that sort of installed in everybody, then um, yeah, it'll it was that machine that did it yeah it'll flag and just go no it's it's them no 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 right. the machine that flags it he was the one that stole it the, what skynet yeah <laughs> skynet <laughs> yeah. no it's it, not it's ghostnet ghostnet it's, it's ghostnet. talking to the it's talking to the norwegian drones who then talk to the uh, the autonomous british ones wonderful yeah they, they don't have a language barrier it's all ones and zeros mate yeah like, what didn't they just, uh, didn't like Google or someone do that? They created uh, two AIs and they effectively got them to talk to one another. But then eventually the um, the AIs came up with their own language mm. that the programmers didn't understand. So they're like, off. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, Ghost it's happening. Oh, uh, yeah, because Elon Musk does not like AI. Well, it's because that's going to take over his job, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> you, we won't need him. As soon as AI kick ticks over, you don't need Mr. Musk or anything like that. Uh, Hey-ho. No. It, it'll never happen in, in our lifetimes. Um, 
So yeah, go celebrate uh, sort of World Origami Day. Um, sort of upload your photos of uh, sort of any scuba diving uh, related origami or just maps that you found lying around your house. Uh, <laughs> If you have any uh, sort of comments, questions, queries, uh, corrections, anything that uh, any sort of interesting news stories that uh, that you found interesting online, let us know down in the comments below just by posting a link. Um, thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving. Well, don't forget as well if you've got any questions. Obviously, I know we said comments and questions, but we do have the Q and A on Friday. So yeah, get your yeah a couple your of days questions in there. Pop pop them in any any social media thing. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we might give a general answer on social because obviously there's only so much we can type in. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, outside of that, uh, yeah, then we can kind of indulge the um, the question in uh, yes. in, in Q and A. And obviously, it, it, it's all for Mark, so obviously scuba related. But if you want to know anything about videos, <laughs> YouTube. Hiking, <laughs> SEO, SEO. <laughs> uh, not, uh, tags, <laughs> descriptions, hashtags. hashtags. That's my that's my forte, guys. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching. Stay classy, scuba divers. <laughs>